Okay, so I got a 2006 uh, Mercury four stroke fuel injected. This is the air filter on it, which is defective. They say that they disintegrate and they suck down into the engine. So you can see like there's a hole starting right here, another one over here. Fortunately, no big chunks look like they've sucked down into my engine. I looked at my uncle's like an hour ago and like 50% of his filters sucked down into his engine. So let's see what happens there. This is the new style of filter that they've upgraded to. So definitely when you're replacing your filter, make sure you don't get another one of these styles because you'll have the same problem. I couldn't find a video of how to take the filter off. I mean, common sense tells you it just pulls right off, but as soon as you think you know something, you break something. So I double checked it and it does just pull right off. So this tube right here just pulls right off. This one in the front pops right out. They say there's a tab on the bottom that will assist with it coming off. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in the video. Yeah. So this tab right here, or no, I'm sorry, that was the intake. It's up under there. You're not going to be able to see it. There's a tab down here. You just pull down on it is what the instructions say. And then just pull and it pops right off. And you can see right here just by pressing on it, I just put a huge hole in it. So this thing is, this thing is definitely getting ready to cause me some engine problems, but fortunately I caught it in time. So the old filter, pop it right back on there. Just like so. Inlet tube back on. Pop that little thing on. Done. Good to go. Now I don't got to worry about any defective filter being sucked down into my engine. Here's the also the part number on the defective filter. You can see that. I should have showed you the, or actually I could show you the box with the part number of the correct or upgraded filter that is the the 35 dash 8 m 0082911 that's the part number you want and quicksilver mercury same same thing like chevy gmc so it's not like it's aftermarket or anything like that so there you go problem solved